Blog Talk Radio. Welcome to Triple X Radio. And we're getting situated here. I don't know if you were late to work today, but we definitely were. I was late by several hours. In fact, at 6 a.m., the show normally comes on at 2 in the morning. That's not really the real excuse. I had some stuff going on, and uh, I don't know if you ever given your boss a shit excuse to be late, because I think I just gave you guys one. It's really not a huge excuse, per se, that I have. We're going to be joined in just a second by Alyssa, who's figuring out how to use a smartphone and do all those complicated things like dial a phone number, call a phone number, then connect and press one. But the first really hard step is looking at the phone number on the screen that says guest call in. She's hovering over me like a banshee. Should we say hi to these people? Hi. See, what, what she wants me to do is raise this huge microphone up to her the whole show, preferably on my knees. She definitely would like me on my knees in a form of submission. Now she's giving me the evil look that I get every time I'm bad. So you guys got me late to work. And on top of that all, now I'm in trouble, too. All right. <clears throat> Alyssa, welcome to the show. Thank you. Well, you're welcome. I'm going to try and, you know, close my door because for some reason I'm getting echo from you. Okay. All right, great. Well, I'll, I'll take care of that. And, um... A fucking joke. Why don't you tell the people about, I don't know, daylight savings time or, I don't know, the exciting world of free printers or Walmart or some funny story that's going on with you? With me? Um, nothing much. I'm going to clean the house. Um, daylight savings time. Boring. That's stuff. boring stuff. What's something, what's something cool going on with you? Oh, I learned that when I fight with my fiancé to just give him sex because then it stops the fight. Yeah, and I learned I have to submit for the rest of my life, and if I'm naughty, I get evil looks and punishment and withdrawn from any form of sexual (laughs) contact whatsoever for days at a time, even when I'm not the one that was necessarily wrong. (laughs) But the girl is always right. You ever have that with your partner? What's that now? But the girl is always right. I don't agree with that premise, nor would I ever let down any of my <laughs> thousands and thousands of male fans by saying that. Okay. All right. But we like so to think we're right. Clean... Well, everybody likes to think they're right, but in an argument, there's really no winner. That's true. Yeah, there's only a minor delay off your phone. All right, uh, so Triple X Radio was on yesterday. I told you guys I'd be back today. I am, I kept my word. Alyssa's big story of the day is she'll be cleaning the house and doing laundry. And, you know, not to mention, I guess, taking adult entertainment phone calls and getting on cam. But she likes to stick with the hot details, of course. What? I'm surprised okay. you didn't bring up your birthday. I'm telling you, I've been hearing about this woman's birthday for six months. Gradually getting one. stronger and stronger. It, it's a big one. Is it the three oh four oh five oh twenty one? It's a two eight. Oh, well you better change your knife flirt page then, smart ass. See now you hey, just left out wanted... every mail. 
You what's that? You want to be a girl? Always lies about her age. So I'm yeah. gonna say I'm 28. Yeah, girls lie about all numbers: the age that's on their driver's license, the weight that's on their driver's license, and then of course the amount of numbers, would, which would be the money they spent on any shopping trip. Girls love to lie about numbers: number of exes they've slept with. Um. It's just numbers. Girls have a yeah. thing with numbers and lying about them. The time they'll be home. But girls okay, are perfect I'll be and 21. sugar and spice and everything nice, right? Yeah, okay. I'm turning it's, 21. But I've already started drinking, so it's not really a big deal. Oh, I see. Your fake ID is turning 28. Because you just turned 20. I got you. Okay, so seven years ago... When when you were like, I don't know, however old that would make you, and you started drinking, and you went on your huffy bike up to the bar, and you couldn't even reach it, and you gave me your fake ID. Then, now, seven, eight years later, it, people don't even do the math on this because it won't make sense. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to head over and grab some world headlines. Today's show is brought to you by Walmart, World of Free Printers, and more when you talk to Joyce. We were at the self-checkout. I scanned my printer. The price came on the screen. She said it had scanned. I did not want to correct Joyce when it had not scanned. I did not notice till I exited the store. Joyce said it had scanned. Walmart still owes me for my back injury anyway. So I'm calling this a present. Because I scanned it, and she scanned it. If something comes up, zero dollars and zero cents, is that stealing people? That's our question of the day. I don't think so. Things are free. Maybe it was a sale. <laughs> Spend so, 100 bucks at Walmart, get a free printer. That's the way it should be with the amount they charge. Walmart should give people free shit when you shop there. They should have a masseuse standing by for their 90 profit margin. Grocery- and they, they admit margin's 90%. Grocery stores do it. Grocery stores say, like, if you spend 25 bucks, you get a loaf of bread or whatever they have. Yeah. No, that's absolutely true. And, and you know... That's maybe one thing we can talk about today. Why don't we talk about how portion sizes at Walmart are are very different than other grocery stores? Yeah, they are. Yeah, we noticed that. And to the people who are listening to this recording later, I have about a 12-second delay on what Alyssa says and what I hear. So most of... Like our other conversations, I may not respond right away when she says something. All right, so on CNN, prosecutors are talking about he turned to finish off another TSA officer. LAX suspects face the murder charge. Paul, CIA and CIA, which is his last name, allegedly approached an airport checkpoint, shot a TSA officer at point blank range, went up an escalator and then came back, a prosecutor says. Why there's nobody in the Los Angeles airport that could have shot this guy within moments of opening fire? I won't know. I've been to LAX. There's people there of the law enforcement caliber. I feel for the victim, but has anyone else noticed that violence and shotguns and just shootings are on a a rampage and upscale? And does anybody else wonder why the murals in the Denver International Airport depicted weapons being taken away. And is there any correlation between those murals and this violence that they're going to try and disarm the American public? Because it seems to me every single person that comes in is uh, toting some kind of high-powered weapon and has anti-government material. I can tell you I have some anti-government propaganda on my website, but I do not support taking a gun in anywhere other than a gun range or hunting. So, you know, and the the other thing that I hate all the time is always blaming everything negative with gun impact and, and murders to, well, that absolutely has to be mental illness. I mean, it, it has to be mental illness. It doesn't have to be mental illness. There's There's no precluding 
that that there hasn't been a lot of violence from both mentally ill people and not. That That's just as stupid as saying, well, only women on their period really, really get in motor vehicle accidents. I mean, no matter what you go to, whether it's black, white, uh, disability, mental illness, I mean, what happened to not discriminating against people? I, I don't know. I thought the country we lived in, we don't discriminate against people. I'm sick of hearing that, but I'm sure that'll be the next thing. Paul uh, Fintia, or however you pronounce it, I'm sure is going to be found uh, mentally deranged or mentally ill or whatever, and that's that's going to be the hinge point. That's going to be, oh, he's mentally ill, so that's obviously... Obviously, where this comes from, you see, these people have a history of uh, problems, and and then they go through the system, and they uh, fall through the cracks, and you know, they fall through the cracks, and uh, this kind of thing happens. But on the flip side, of that there's perfectly normal people who get in trouble too, or have problems. Anyway, next issue would be, what does this say about TSA security? Should they be armed? Should they not? What does it say for airport security? Do we need to tighten things up or what more do we need to do? Up in healthcare news, finger pointing and politics aside, here's what you need to know about healthcare. Uh, Obama Care website still down. Affordable Care Act. Although healthy hoes, or how was it worded? It's, um, I think I the story about the adult entertainment people that went up for Obamacare. It was uh, healthy hoes, strippers and adult film town alike, those from Night Flirt and uh, the Bunny Ranch and several other places, sourced on CNN and Reuters and My Times as going and signing up for the Affordable Care Act where they could, and they had a healthy hoes party where they all signed up online, which is pretty funny. Uh, Alyssa, what do you think about that? Do you think people in the phone sex industry and otherwise should should go sign up for Obamacare? Um, I don't know. I think Obamacare has a lot of cracks that needs to be fixed. Um, I think they launched it a little too early. Um, yeah. Because just it's so there's some things that still don't make sense. Um, I think honestly, our healthcare system in the United States sucks for people. You, if you don't work for sure. the government or the hospital, you have shitty insurance. Or if you're poor and you don't work and you have no income, then you have good insurance because they pay for everything. Other than that, like, you're, people are screwed. I think. And even, like, if yeah. you work in the health care system, like, my father is a paramedic, and he has to pay for his family, like, $500 out of his paycheck. Wow. Plus he so still has, on that. Yeah, and plus he still has to pay, like, X amount of dollars a year before the insurance kicks in. Well, it's bullshit, and I know several people, they pay, and, and then they still have to wait for coverage, and there's a lot of loopholes, and the thing is, the way that you get treated anywhere you go, if you're on any type of public health care, as opposed to Blue Cross and Blue Shields or, or any more of the more elite plans, they treat you like garbage. Yeah, they do. All right. Well, I'm trying to think of what else uh, I want to get in and cover today. Um, I have an amazing cookbook. Cookbooks you are do. Awesome. Do you wanna do you wanna talk about that? Sure. I got this um recipe book, and it has 500 craft pot recipes. So I'm kind of excited to just see what I can make through all the craft pots, and there will be my nice supper at the end of the day. Okay. Instead of just Tell going to the grocery store, 
why are you excited about this recipe book more than, say, another recipe book? Like, what intrigues you about it? Because they have, like, all different kinds of categories, like um, dips and soups and desserts and drinks and recipes that only have five ingredients. And, like, it's endless. And I'm a bad that cook, good, but so. I think I. So maybe this. So I'm sorry about the door cook. there. So it sounds like you like the recipe book because you can picture yourself making the stuff. There's pictures, and it. it's easy. It looks like it's it's easy stuff to make and in good tasting. Yeah. All right. Well. Uh, let's let's do this. Why don't you do you want to read the name of of the crockpot book in case anyone wants to check it out? Uh sure. It's called Crock Pot, the original slow cooker recipe collection. All right, so crock pot, and you can probably find that crock pot book. I'm guessing at Walmart for seventeen ninety seven or whatever it is. Yeah, and then if you have the iPhone, too, it comes with a free app. That's cool. I know um, we actually took it through the grocery store for those listening, and we got the ingredients for the first recipe that we're going to do. And you know, I think we picked up the ingredients for two recipes because it has a section, and that was the section that I really liked, which is a, like minimal what, – what's it worded, Alyssa? It's not minimal ingredients, but like just on-hand ingredients. Um, I think it's like five, well, there's a three-step ingredient, three-step recipes, and five ingredients or less recipes. And the one that we're doing is five ingredients or less. Okay, five ingredient one. Okay, so it's five ingredients that you have around the house, and then this is stuff you can make, so hopefully you don't have to go out and get much of anything, which is good. Uh, I wanted to talk a, a little bit about the express shows that I'm doing, um, it's kind of a compromise. And here's how the compromise works until December 31st for those of you that have been nice enough to sponsor the show or buy adult toys or what have you at IamJackingOff.com, which is our sponsor. Um, So here's the deal. Until December 31st, I've clocked in a half hour a day which some of you might be like, well, what happened in two-hour shows? Well, we're we're going to have to take a mutual compromise on this one because with my medical issues and the stuff that's going on, uh, I, can, I can do a half hour a day. I can't really do more than that right now until the end of the year. And then what I'm hoping for is in January, February, uh, hopefully get up to an hour for you guys. You know, not a day, but... It'll turn out to be more content for you because it'll be every day, and it's, it'll be a half hour. I'm planning them for normally 2 a.m., but if not, catch it in the morning. You can always find the player at uh, www.thegigapig.com. The link's on the description here on BTR. Um, that'll that'll get you the player so you can listen to it anytime. You're like, oh, what's happening today? I'm sure we'll keep it happening and interesting for you. But it'll work out to be, what does that work out to be, seven, so 3.5 hours a week, which was supposed to be the length of pretty much one show. But it's better than nothing. 11 minutes left in the show, 6.19 a.m. on November 3rd, 2013. The guest call-in number today was 323-693-3840. And... Uh, I don't know. Besides your cookbook, anything else going on? Um, just my birthday. Okay, birthday girl. Hey, I got a funny story that we haven't talked about on the air yet. What's that? Why don't we talk about, uh, hold on, I can't hear anything in my headphones. Hold on. All right, there we go. Why don't we talk about the really, really funny story of, uh, going to someone's door because you're going to give them money and they're not there anymore. Oh. Is is that a good story? 
Yeah, it's a good story. Okay, I don't know what the cat did, but I have nothing in my headphones. We have a wonderful cat. And yeah, the last couple of days she's had she's had a tummy ache or something. I don't really know what's going on with her. And she's just been demolishing the house. And the last thing she did was dump a thing of Arm and Hammer carpet powder all over my microphone. And uh, from the looks of it and the sounds of it, she might have just totaled it. Who knows? Maybe it'll come back around. I don't know. All right. So the story goes, uh, had a friend in air quotes and was going to bring them money because they were being kind of a shit and saying they didn't get the money order I sent them. It ended up being returned to us in the envelope. So we go over to give it to the person and see how they're doing and check in with them. And it was actually a good check to get. And we drove over there and I didn't lose it anymore. So, I don't know. I don't know what to say. But I guess it's their loss because they were bitching and moaning and wanting the check and we said we mailed it and then we even um, Alyssa went on her iPhone and sent a picture of it and I was like yeah there's a check here's the copy of the money order receipt and they're like no and then it got returned and we drove over there and no one was there and that's the story yeah the place looked like it was left in a hurry, so something's up. It did. It did look like it did look like it was a hurry. Moving. I don't know if anyone else can hear the the volume moving around, but I seriously think the cat ruined this mic. Not quite sure. I can't. I can't tell if I'm. What? I said. Oh, I said I can't tell over the phone. Oh, okay. You can hear fine. Yeah. That's good that you can hear it. Normally, there's a volume thing, and then I can hear it, and it's going in and out in my ear. So that's fine. Maybe it's on the studio board issue. I don't know. So we have um, six minutes left, and I I don't want to leave early. So I'm I'm gonna play the intro again. Maybe that'll trigger something I need to talk about. Ten seconds long. Oh yeah, I'm remembering. I have lots of stuff I need to talk about. Oh yeah, there we go. That was a good memory jogger. Uh, the adult entertainment world for now has kind of gotten to shit. And my friend, I want to read you some crazy tweets. Let's do crazy tweets for a little bit. Uh, you can tweet me over at the Dr. John. That's at the Dr. John. If you can't find it, then I would suggest having a friend help you or joining uh, an adult disability learning center. All right, so I want to go over a couple of these tweets right here. Um, Because my friend last night said she got kicked off of doing adult cam for having a dog on cam, and she's having a hissy fit over it. But the only problem is you really can't have your dog on cam. (laughs) It's it's not a little deal. It's a big deal. You, You can't have your dog on cam. Um, okay, so I'm pumping, I'm pumping, I'm in my car. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm being rude, I'm not telling you what I'm saying. I'm looking at at Georgia Peach, so it's at G-E-O-R-G-I-A, and then S, so it reads Georgia's Peach. 
All right, and I'm not knocking her. There's just, there's some things I find funny. I mean, it's in reality, it's a coworker, but on the side, I'm like, really? Did you really wear that skirt on Twitter? And then I I don't think these other pictures are her because judging from the picture in the front, it's not really matching what's going on in the back, but could be wrong, I guess. It looks to me like she's using somebody else's pictures, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. All right, so here's one. At the Dr. John, cool, be home later today and running errands. At the Dr. John, I'm on Night Flirt, I've been there since 09. Here's what got it all started, though. It says, LOL, I'm suspended on StreamMate for having my animal on cam. I've been here camming for two years, and you suspend me now? This is so hilarious. I mean, most people might not understand, but you you can't have... <clears throat> well, let me take that back. It depends on the context. If the animal was on cam and she was doing a puppy show, then you can't do that. It's It's not allowed. Not just it's not allowed in uh, the porn industry or on some sites, but it's not allowed in the United States. So I don't, I don't know where she is, so but you, you can't have your yeah, you can't have your animal on cam. So Georgia Peach, we feel sorry you got kicked off the cam site for a little bit or suspended, but you can't have your animal on the cam. Well, what's do she it. doing now? Oh. Is she doing it like? A Paris Hilton thing. I don't know. It, I don't have the context. I didn't even. I didn't even tweet that. I'd like to know, like, what context was her animal on cam? That would. That would be good to know. But yeah, I don't I mean, know. If she's in like a Paris that. Hilton, like her dog was a an ex, like ex, what accessory, like jewelry type thing. Yeah. Then there's no, yeah. nothing wrong with that. But. No, not at all. I don't I don't either. I got a couple other uh funny tweets for you before we get out of here. This has been uh Triple X Radio Express in the morning. Normally we have two hour shows. Thanks for checking us out if you did. All right, so one of the quotes here I really, really like. It says, Don't say you love me unless you really mean it because I might do something crazy. I might believe it. That's from Anonymous. And yesterday I got to the <laughs> this is an important one. I'm glad I can get this out. Uh, the timestamp is two hours, thirty-four minutes, seven seconds on the video. That's my four-hour special on YouTube. You're gonna hear Devil Doll pour wax all over her nipples. I completely forgot about it, and it's on tape. And I, <clears throat> that's on the uh, radio special show with uh, Captain Jack. Like six people, seven people get on that day. And I had forgotten all about it. So if you'd like to hear that and that show, go check it out along with the rest. They're under The Dr. John Show on uh, YouTube. Otherwise, head over to thegigapig.com. You'll find a direct link over to all my videos. So thank you very much from me. Thank you very much to Alyssa for joining us today. We'll be back tomorrow morning, and hopefully I can get Alyssa to come join me. Yep, you are. All right, thanks, guys.